Hello. Today I want to talk about a film I've recently seen and I've gotten last in the last few weeks, which is Bohemian Rhapsody. Well, I guess I got it last week since that's when it came out. Um, and in short, I enjoyed this film. Um, I've listened to the music of Queen for quite some time since I was very little. Um, and I, you know, I thought the film was very entertaining. Now, I know people do have problems, uh, certain problems with it, particularly with the historical aspect and, you know, what they got right, what they got wrong, but, you know, for overall, for what the film is, it's a very good film that's entertaining. Um, which I think is the most important aspect of any film is it that it is entertaining. You know, sure, some films won't win awards, but you know, if they're entertaining, that's that's really all you hope for. Um, now this film has won quite a bit of awards. Remy Malik, who plays Freddie Mercury, has won a lot. Um, the only major award he has not won is the Critics' Choice Award, and the Academy Awards have not happened yet. He's won the BAFTA, and um, I've usually talked about awards shows before. I've talked a bit about them earlier in this year for the current awards. And um, you may recall I particularly enjoyed uh, Vice, in, in particular uh, Christian Bale's performance in my desire to see him win another Academy Award and other awards. And I do think that this, um, and that does stand. However, I will say if uh, Remy Malik uh, happens to win Best Actor, I won't be upset. Um, uh, I, as I've said uh, in the past, regarding such a thing, uh, situation, you know, I wanted uh, Steve Carell to win Best Actor for Foxcatcher. You know, I was probably somebody that was in the minority of that, um, of that mind frame. But you know, um, you know, Eddie Redmayne won for The Theory of Everything, and he did a great job. And while yeah, it, it well, uh, I may be disappointed that my preferred pick did not win. At the same time, I'm like, you know, I understand and can see why, you know, he won. Um, and, I, and that would be the same to be said for this. You know, I could see why Remy Malik would win be, could win Best Actor over Christian Bale in Vice. Um, uh, so that's a decision I um, have no real qualms with. Um, at most, I would just be a little disappointed my preferred pick did not win. Well, that's really it. Um, regarding that, but, you know, it has gotten praise for its, um, the performances. They're all great. Um, you know. Uh, and the film, um, Mary Austin, I believe is her name, if I am not completely forgetting, yes, Mary Austin, um, she played, uh, Freddie Mercury's, uh, girlfriend, um, before, you know, he comes out as, uh, as gay, um, and they do show how he, uh, uh, their friend, their relationship and friendship, you know, lasts. And they have it that, you know, when he, when it was, that he was gay, that did, you know, you know, that ended their relationship. But they remain great friends up until Freddie Mercury's passing. And uh, I think that's good. And even digging more into it, he, uh, you know, even though he was in a relationship with um, Jim Hutton for uh, the last years 
of his life. Uh, he always said that uh, she was the love of his life, and no matter who he was in a relationship with, you know, they, they she was the she was it. She was the love of his life, and in the film, uh, they say that um, you know they have it where he proposes to her, and they're engaged. Um, now I don't know if that happened or not. Um, I haven't looked that far into it, but because I've seen a lot of you know uh, um, big uh, major things the film got wrong, and that wasn't necessarily something that I saw, or if I if it was in something like an article or or anything. I read it wasn't really uh, they didn't make a big you know part of that they didn't really make it huge one part though regarding the relationships with Freddie Mercury was uh, Jim Hutton like how they didn't really show how really important he was into his life so that's interesting to think about though you know, with how they made the film and wrote it and everything, I can kind of see what they were going for and why they did what they did. Um, should the film have been more accurate? Sure, yeah. And it might have quite possibly have been just as entertaining, yeah, perhaps more so. But, you know making a film, there is creative licenses. You have to expect that. For me, even with the, you know, the Jim Hutton situation, and as well as some of the formation of the band, the Queen band, and now they pretty much all happen to meet, and then slowly but surely they got the band together. Uh, like in the movie, you know, there's, you know, they're friends, um, and, uh, they all, you know, for instance, um, yeah, they're, like, uh, yeah, Tim, uh, Staffel and, uh, Freddie Mercury met at um, art school or art college, you know, for instance, as opposed to in the movie, he sees them at a club and then, you know, they uh, begin to, you know, just have a, a formation of band. The formation of the band then comes together. Um, it, uh, you know, there are inaccuracies of the film, but uh, again, I, I, even with the knowledge of some of these inaccuracies as well as some of the stuff in Freddie Mercury's life that isn't as uh, legitimate. Um, And the uh, uh, HIV diagnosis has gotten criticism as well. Um, that was a big uh, thing because you didn't learn about it or found out uh, like uh, in the film, which was like a Spoiler alert to anybody who hasn't seen the film that it ends with the Live Aid performance. Um, and uh, they f he found out between 86 and 87 he had AIDS. And the Live Aid, 
it happened in uh, 85. And then the band wasn't made, made aware until 89. Um, yeah, 85 was the Live Aid, and 86 and 87 he found out. But, you know, for the film and how they wanted to end it, and then, like, they have to address a huge part of Mercury's life, which is him having AIDS. They, you know, they had to find a way to do that, but also wanting to end it with the Live Aid event, because, you know, that's such a huge part uh, of Queen. You know, that's a huge moment. That's a big... One of the, you know, that's one of the best performances they gave, you know. Granted, yes, it was for charity, so of course they're going to do the best job they can, but, you know, it's so highly regarded, and rightfully so. Um, it's um, an incredible performance. You can find it on YouTube, and of course now with the movie they compare the actual footage to the film footage, and, um, that's something too, um, but um, yeah. Even with all of that, it's a very, it's a very good film. It's an entertaining film. Uh, if you're a fan of Queen, uh, I think you might enjoy it. You know, even with the uh, inaccuracies, some of the ones I've laid out. There's more, obviously, but you know, those are just some the basic ones that you hear quite often about. Um, so if you're a major Queen fan, you know a lot about Freddie Mercury, you'd be able to distinguish what's true and what's not. Um, I'm not a huge hardcore fan of the band in that I knew their, the ins and outs of their lives, but I enjoy their music. Uh, I've enjoyed their music for years, and... Uh, it was really cool to hear and see the some of their uh, performances and the concerts they did, and it, it was really fantastic. Uh, particularly the live aid at the end that was truly something to watch. Um, so with all that, I enjoy the film. I think it's incredible. I. Uh, I get and understand the praise and accolades Renee Lake has gotten. Yes, I would love if uh, Bale, you know, would win the Oscar, but if he doesn't, I'm not truly upset. You know, Renee Lake did, yeah, did an incredible job, and I'm not, and I won't be upset and or disappointed. Um, but, you know, that's my thoughts. Uh, have you seen the film? Do you want to see the film? What do you think? Um, this is just my uh, thoughts and uh, my impression. Um, give it a watch, uh, particularly if you're a Queen fan. Um, obviously, no, uh, things won't be completely accurate. Hopefully that won't bother you, but I understand if you're a fan of somebody and you know their work and, and or their life uh, quite a bit, you may be a bit upset or disappointed that it's not as accurate as it could be because you know, it, what really happened could have been just as interesting as what they've shown in the film, you know. And, um, yeah, that's all I have to say. So, um, I hope you all have a good day. Hope you all have a good week. And until next time, see you later.